Greetings, Star Trek Fleet Commanders. I am the Angry Rhino. So, I've already done two Chakotay test videos. Yeah, this video is going to be kind of about Chakotay. But I'm going to be focusing on firing patterns of the ships. Because I think that has a lot to do with whether you will see value in Chakotay or not. How do I do that? Yes, you can look into battle log in game and you can or you can use your little upgrade menu, tap the eye on each individual weapon and see the recharge and the charge times. But our friend Ripper made this wonderful tool, stfc.space. So that's what I'm going to use to go over these firing patterns. And you should use this tool as well. So we come up to here, go to ships. So you can filter by your G3, G4, 5, 6, 7, whenever they come out, I'm sure. Common, uncommon, rare, what have you. So let's start with G3 rare. I kind of want to encompass everybody. I don't want to just do a Corvus or uh, what the hell's my other ship? Pillum. Try to explain this so that everybody can understand. Here we have a Burrell. Has two energy weapons that fire one shot every round. And then a kinetic weapon that will take two, uh, yeah, two rounds to charge and then three rounds to recharge. Now, I don't really like the firing pattern on my Pillum for Chakotay because it is three shots in the first round. Or three weapons. I keep saying shots. The officer says shots and that's why I can't. I gotta focus myself. Three weapons and then one weapon in the next round. So you're not really gaining that much of an advantage because every time your kinetic weapons firing you only have one proc from the round before so with a ship like say Burrell here you're gonna this is these are two different weapons so you're gonna get two procs if you have them at tier one then it's 16 percent if you have tier two like I have tier two and I'm sure there are a few people out there getting them to tier two because the sourcing is much higher for him and Janeway and the doctor really. Hopefully they continue that. <clears throat> it would be 24%. That is much better than let's say the second round from my pillow. So you get an extra 16 to 24% or higher if you have them in tier three. For round two, which your energy weapons are going to fire again and they're going to, you know, continue that proc activation of Chakotay. But when you get your kinetics to fire, you have several procs stacked. Stacked. I want to say this kinetic is going to fire first, but I don't. I feel like if the ship has a kinetic weapon, the kinetic weapon is going to fire first. Usually. Or you will see it in your battle log, whether it's recharging or charging or firing. So I would say the Burrell is a really good ship. And no, I'm not titling this, Does It Chicote? No, it sounds like it, it might. Here we go, the Gladius. Very similar firing pattern. Actually, the same firing pattern as a Pilum. It just fires less shots per weapon. So... Well, yes, you will get activations. Like, he's going to work, but you're not exact, exactly getting max potential out of him. So, I don't think he works too well with the Gladius. Intrepid, and I was looking at this fire pattern, you know, because I opened the tabs up ahead of time. And I, I don't have an Intrepid, so I can't exactly check it, but 
is this right? I mean, one energy weapon every round. I mean, that that does sound right. But this double cannon, one, one round of charge and then it fires every round? It doesn't need to recharge at all? And the same for this high charge cannon. Two rounds of charging and then fires every single round? Okay, I mean, I'm not trying to question Ripper or whoever has their hands in this website now. But if this is accurate, then I would say the Intrepid is absolutely a good ship for Chakotay. Because yes, you aren't going to get too much out of him in the first few rounds. But then all these other rounds, you're getting three activations of Chakotay. That's that's fantastic. Augur. All right, now maybe this is the right order. So maybe the kinetic will fire last. I always feel like the kinetics fire first, though. I don't know, but I know it's flipped here with the auger. And I know the auger fires the kinetics. That's like its first turn. Is this obliterator cannon? So I'm, I'm not 100% sure with the Burrell. But it, it is a very similar firing pattern. It does look like the kinetic with the auger will be first up, whereas it looks like the kinetic with the Burrell is last. So technically, assuming this is the right order, one, two, three, four, and then your big gun. Not like that with the auger, which is kind of disappointing. It will be one, two here, and then your obliterator fires. But that's okay, because you're still getting two activations around. So the auger is good. The D4. I'm not wild about this firing pattern. I think. In certain instances, it, it is fairly decent, but it's very niche. Maybe against going going against enterprises, if you want to break that triangle. Only having two weapons and them alternating rounds isn't that great in general, I don't think. Again, niche uses. This is not going to be good for Chakotay. You're going to have one activation around, and that's it. Enterprise. Enterprise is very similar to the Burrell. So the Enterprise is definitely one you can use Chakotay with. Katinga is the same way. You're going to get two activations here. I feel like the, the contingent does fire its kinetics last. Man, I can't remember it off the top of my head. If it does, if it does, if it really does fire these big guns last. So any ship that <clears throat> might have to test this out. But any ship, assuming this is the right order, this would be the ship to put your cote on. Because you're gonna get four activations, and then you're gonna fire that big ass gun. Ting is definitely good. Kelvin. Kelvin is really the reverse of the Pillum. Right? One weapon in the first, three in the second. So, I wouldn't say... And, and again, it's going to work, but you're not exactly getting max potential out of it. Baldor, same way. Look, two weapons, two weapons, two weapons, two weapons, and then the third. I've used some of these. I just got, I honestly can't remember. Now let's come up to these specialty ships. I feel like this is wrong. I don't think whatever medium gun, I don't think it fires every round like that. I feel like that's wrong. I feel like it's every other round. <sighs> yeah, off the top of my head, I can't remember. It just it just doesn't look right. It's possible, I guess. I'll have to double check in game. So now, 
if this is accurate, again, if this is accurate, would be okay to use Chakotay here because you're going to get two activations. And then, yes, this rail gun does fire last for, this kinetic does fire last for the Talios. I don't remember. So, honestly, in general, maybe, even if this is a little wrong, this probably is a good one for Chakotay because you're always going to get this firing first. And then even if this is alternate like I think it is, still have a few activations and then your big gun. The Talius would be alright. The Defiant. I hate this dumbass shit. It's, it has no survivability, which really pisses me off. And I don't like this firing pattern. It's weird. It's just weird. You get no benefit from Chakotay here. Because it's all over the place. You get like two activations and then one activation, then two activations, then one activation, then two activations, then two, then one. So, no, it's not going to work. Voyager. And again, assuming this is the correct order, fires these two energy torpedoes for the first two rounds, and then the third round fires the energy torpedoes, each one. <sighs> Yeah, see, something doesn't look right. I mean, because something isn't right. Because photon torpedoes, energy, photon torpedoes, energy, but two and then three. I don't know. I don't have the Voyager, so it's not like I can double check. Actually, let me... What the hell? All right, let's see. Looking at the one on my tablet here, see if it's any different. No, I mean the one of the version on my tablet is the same. I feel like they're, I, I don't know, I, yeah, I don't know. Well, it would appear that the Voyager is perfect for Chakotay. Now, to set up my next video, I will be going over somewhat of a refresher for getting relics. So stay tuned for that. But. Wrap this up here a little longer than I wanted to. Yes, maybe I don't have the greatest information because the tool is all jacked up, which is very annoying. But it does, there is few lessons there. One, pay attention to your battle log and it'll tell you what the shots are. You have these tools, they sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. But, it's something to think about with officers like Chakotay, who need to shoot the target in order to get some kind of active activation. Nero is the same way. Six is the same way. Changeling is the same way. And especially if they're limited to, limited to a few rounds like Chakotay, you don't really want something like the firing pattern of a gladius because you're going to go all, you're going to get all your activations in one round with some of your big guns and then the next round there's nothing for when those big guns get recharged but something like a voyager here you're going to have a few activations and then you're going to get you know maybe even a bunch of activations depending on how you think about it so something for you to pay attention to if you have Chakotay, certain ships are going to be better than others for him. Comment below. How much do you know about the firing pattern of your ships? Do you know which officers are best? Throw some tips out there for people that maybe they wouldn't have realized. Talking about firing patterns. Be sure to like and subscribe. I am the Angry Rhino. Shields up, commanders.